I would like to tell my story of where it all came from. It all started back in Red Deer, Alberta, where I was born and raised for the first 18 years of my life, and I was always a silly, high-energy kid. I had a uh, kind of trouble in school a bit just because I was so high-energy, it became disruptive in class, so I was labeled the disruptive student. <laughs> That's always important. Just a big smile, exactly what I wanted to see. <laughs> when I left the school, I decided I was going to try computers because I was always good in computers. And I followed that career because that's what I should do. I mean, I made Spandy Andy, but everybody laughed at it. My ex girlfriend's mother was saying no to Spandy, get a real job, you know, go to college. So I went to college, got a job at IBM, made lots of money, had a great time, but I was working for IBM and again they were suppressing my Spandy Andy. I had to wear what they told me to wear, collared shirts, and I had to be corporate and professional. And it just didn't seem right. So. I dropped it again, packed it up, headed out to Vancouver because my brother was here pursuing acting. And then one day I just went out onto the street, not even in spandex, just in a tracksuit I got at Valley Village and I started juggling and dancing with a hat out. And as soon as I did that I got interviewed my first day by CTV and it just kind of blew up a little right there. They asked me to turn down the music. I need a short one though. I love the world today where you can easily access fluorescent zippers if needed. That's freedom. Shiny, shiny, tight, bright, and shiny. Because this isn't what we want to see, so we're going to make it black. A lot of people wear black because they want to hide. They don't want to stand out. I say, why not stand out? Be tight, be bright. I was just looking at the masks on the wall and it made me realize that there's a reason I take the lenses out of my glasses and that's because it's scary when you look at somebody in a mask because they don't have an identity and they're hiding behind something. If you take out the lenses you can make that eye contact with them and then it's much more engaging and warm and that's just human psychology. <laughs> Yeah. Have a good one. Keep smiling. Or try. Because of the world of social media and cameras and everybody having one, I was able to really like blast off with Spandy Andy doing, you know, street dancing everywhere and I just loved it. I was connecting with everybody and I knew what was real. I just lived my life in Red Deer, worked at IBM. Like I know the world, but I wanted to bring this character to people and as I did it, I just got more and more happiness myself. And through making other people happy and playing around with people, I really found myself and from then on decided this is what I was meant to do and just been going ever since. What's the password? Tight and bright. Come on into Spandy Land. Take a look around here. Watch out for the 35 pairs of shoes. Alright, welcome to Spandy Land. A little cluttered, a little cluttered. Lots of color though, right? 
Gotta love that. This is my main spandy section, actually. I got all four of my boxes here, spare parts for them, all my extra spandex, all my spandex outfits, my latest ones, my shorts, everything. This is kind of like my spandy wall of Titan Bright. This is where I practice all my dance moves. All you need is a little space on a wood floor and a big mirror. This is how I know what other people are seeing when I perform, so that way I can look at different angles and what works better for the mint and entertainment. I want to talk about branding quickly. I brand everything here. I got my mouse pad branded, my phone's branded, and I use a spandy andy pen with a spandy pad. So you can you can brand everything. Alright, here's the brand new spandy tee. I just sent it to Oddball yesterday and they're already able to make it on a shirt that quick and have it available, which is awesome. And this is the first shirt I did with them as well. So now they've got them available here locally. So all my fans, if they can't order online for some reason, they're now able to come somewhere in Vancouver and get the shirts, and that's really awesome. Spandy Andy was originally just made by me, like a little character for a project, but because every time I did it, people gave me so much, you know, feedback and <laughs> excitement and laughter that I knew there was something there, like there was something about this that I loved so much I wanted to do it as much as possible. And then I became Spandy Andy. I just became him because I now do more Spandy Andy than I do Andy Reimer. Alright, so I was offered a job as Spandy Andy in Niagara Falls at Marineland for all the tourists there. And uh, they promised me five shows a day for 1,700 plus people per show. So it's just such a huge opportunity for me to really work on my craft and get better and better at my art. And I have to take the opportunity. It's a super kind of sad moment at English Bay right now because everybody's showing me they love and support me, but they also understand I've got to continue. Friends, friends. You know me. <laughs> what time do you think? I'm thinking I'll leave April 15th. You coming back sometime visiting for BC? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, coming back sometime visiting for BC? Yeah, for sure. For sure. I'll be back. But it's Profe far away. Professional job? Yeah. So I'm much better life. like you in the business yeah, business. Yeah. Not for animal street. Exactly. Apartment. So it's you probably back dancer for a uh, high for quality for Madonna and maybe for Maria Carey or something better, better option for you. Yeah. Maybe Hollywood. Yeah. Who knows? Who knows? I know, it's good to see you. I'm glad you're here today. Uh, this won't be the end to Spandy Andy at English Bay. I'll always know in my heart this is my home and I'll definitely be coming back anytime I can. On the streets of 